Taylor Swift entering her poetry era and she just opened a pop-up library at the Grove giving fans a unique look at her tortured poets project and album. Giga News reporter Tina Patel is there live with a look at where the line starts and ends. Tina, a lot of fans out there. Amy, these fans have been waiting for Taylor Swift to drop her new album. They have to wait until Friday to get that, but they are able to come here to the Grove right now to get kind of a sneak peek. This is a pop-up library installation completely free here at the Grove, and fans are being able to kind of take a closer look to see if they can get some clues about what Taylor Swift's new album will have. We are told that there are little clues here that have to do with the song titles, the song lyrics, maybe some details about what these songs are actually all about. Now I want to show you a little bit of video because fans have been lined up since the crack of dawn. Some people told me that they got here at the Grove at 5 a.m. They've been waiting. They didn't actually know what a pop-up library installation was, but they were just happy to be here, to be able to share this experience with other Taylor Swift fans. We talked to a few of them about this community and also about how Taylor just inspires them. It's just the community that we came here, we traded bracelets, we got to see everybody, and then we're so excited to see like what could happen. It's also really cool because it's we're like one of the first people to see it, and so it's cool to be like the first person and to be the first to know about everything. I feel like she just inspires so many people and she's just such a strong like influence on like our culture and I just want to support her in that. Now, Spotify is the ones that are behind this installation. They say that there are a lot of clues here that fans will understand more when the album actually drops. So that's what I was talking to a few fans earlier. They said they're just taking pictures of everything, and hopefully when they actually hear the music on Friday, everything they're seeing here will make sense and they'll appreciate it even more. And Amy, I can't let you go without showing you a couple of the Swifties did give me friendship bracelets. So now I'm feeling like I'm part of the Swiftie community. Uh, absolutely, Tina. That's a big honor there. Thanks so much.